hi guys welcome to my channel so mm, it's 7 57 i screenshot a lot of these on my phone so i have like a million of them i don't know what it means i'm not gonna look at it because i only came to do y'all i'm gonna come do a video for y'all in a minute but right now i'm gonna have to get ready have to take my son to school so i'm not even gonna get into it right now I did a video for y'all yesterday morning, which I didn't get a chance to finish because, listen, it was just so much energy that I was feeling yesterday. And I stopped that video twice. The camera turned off. It fell on the floor. I was editing and then um, just started to delete. Um... I had to go run out to go pick up something. So that took me a little bit, a minute, cause then I had to put it, you know, store some stuff and everything else, put it where it needed to be. But I was getting so much energy, so much energy. And if you look at the video, I don't know if it looks weird to y'all, but when I pick up my phone sometimes it's because I told y'all in the video that I was warned not to help my twin, right? You can't help your twin because your twin is going through karma. But again, when I put out my energy because of what's happening between me and my twin, my energy still goes out to, and I, and that's your divine, uh, your kingdom spouse, you know, what God has, the path that God has put you on. So my energy is connected to this person anyway. So energetically, there was no way I couldn't not help them. And plus, when you are like, if you look up like certain things like um when it comes to star seeds and twin flames and just a twin in general how could you not help your twin like even if your twin is it would be like being split at birth one twin being given to one family and another twin being given to another family you're still going to feel that twin and regardless of whether or not I get told to not help my twin, me being happy, me vibrating high, me doing all the right things, it's still gonna help my twin. Um, so I say that, oh, thank you, my body's tingling. I say that because no matter where in the world my twin is or what he's doing, I'm always like that's the thing between me and him I'm always going to give him you know my energy and so I got what they meant about not going to look for them not specifically going to look for them not going to intervene not going to so I got that but as I was trying to explain to y'all yesterday um my energy once it went out it now attracted whoever the people that my twin like all these people are att attracted to but there's one specific twin and I'm very curious to know because literally it's like I can hear them. So, and it's funny because, and this is the reason why I'm saying it seems like it's getting louder or something. Because now I'm aware of somebody, right? And I, it almost feels like I can smell them first. And I know you wonder how I can smell a person that I don't, I never met, but it's because somehow we wear the same thing i think i don't it's something about and i can't i'm not gonna tell y'all what it is but somehow we gravitated to the same concoction of skincare okay i'm gonna say it like that so that's how i can smell them and every time i can smell that smell it that that smell like there's a, is a little more overbearing or a little more Cause he's you know it's a masculine so it's a little more of a stronger smell so when i smell that it makes me now want to go look to my phone because now i can see this person and the person's always there every time which is now making me feel like when he wants my attention he does this thing and i don't know how he's doing it because again i'm still just learning that this person is even involved in my mind or my life but every time I go look, that person's there. Or if I go look in different areas, 
I can see what they're trying to direct me to. It's the weirdest thing. So yesterday, when you see me stop the cameras because I smell him, and then I go look to see what he's trying to show me or what I'm supposed to go look at. So I don't know if it's him or if it's just, you know, God now has made me aware. Cause like I said, now I'm super sensitive for some reason, cause it's major. Um, but anyway, what happened was, and I'm only telling y'all this to tell y'all that this. So yesterday when I left the house, I went to go drop my son off at school. Cause like I told y'all, it's still major energy going down. By the time I'm coming back, my windshield is like a little, like there was, like a pebble hit it before and it's been there for years you can ask you know the previous person it's been there for years <clears throat> so since it was just like a, a little like dot i never did anything with it yesterday for some reason as i'm coming home like through my neighborhood the line like goes all the way across my windshield and i kid you not like i'm watching it travel i took a video of it because I'm looking at this thing like what and I started to cover my face because it was making me feel like this is about to split in half it's going to shatter on me so I was filming but while I was filming I was coming through my neighborhood and so I'm filming people's houses people's cars and this that and third but technically what I was filming was the crack right by the time I go to pick up my son or my son gets home and now we got to go do what we were about to do. I show my son a video and I'm like, how did this happen? Because now I'm looking at the windshield and now the windshield, there is not the crack that was there is not the crack that was there, which is weird because now, and then I show my son a video and he said, mom, now you need to film this one because it went all the way across my window and now it's not all across my window. So I leave to go to the store this morning, like four. So I woke up and I went to the store early, early this morning. And so um, when I'm coming back now, it's even smaller, like it's decreasing in size. So I'm only sitting here right now to tell you because my son's down here and I got to get ready to go. But I'm only sitting down here now because it made me feel like somebody either got in a car accident or none there is about to be a car accident. So be careful. I don't know who this is for, but that's the vibe that it's giving me because why would that happen? But why does that happen anyway? This, it's weird. It's the weirdest, weirdest things that are happening to me and I don't understand. And I can't post a video of me coming to the neighborhood because, like I said, it's showing my, you know, too much information. But I'm going to try to show y'all part of it so then that way y'all get to see it. But if anybody can tell me how a windshield fixes itself, please let me know because i'm totally confused because listen i told y'all i start uh, pressing record and i screenshot stuff right now because it's some weird crap happening but also it's some not weird stuff happening because i'm gonna send y'all on a mission go look up um it's quantum jumping quantum leaping for some reason i think my body is starting to <laughs> Because you can manifest what time zone you want to be in. And I want to manifest the time zone that I want to be in that has everything that I want right now. That's the one I'm manifesting. So sorry, y'all got to go, but I'll be back.